it's amazing to be here. Uh, the last 96 hours have been truly transformational, uh, differently for me and my team members, uh, John Werner and Anshima Das. Um, and I think when sometimes you have to start learning about new things, often you have to unlearn. So I thought, since I'm a professor, I can give you a test. So the two lines here, I hope you can see them. Um, and I, my question for you is, which line is longer? The one on the left or one on the right? The same How many of you think the one on the left? How many of you think one on the right? How many of you think they're equal? Are you sure? Take a look one more time. Right. One of them is actually longer. <laughs> And you know why this is happening? Because we have learned and learned and learned. And we have converted assumptions into facts. And the reason we are here is we're going to challenge everything we think we know. Unlearn that, which will be very interdisciplinary and get started from there. And start asking questions that folks are not even asking. What about a camera that can see around corners beyond line of sight? Or cameras fast enough to see light in motion? So in our group, we are playing with lights and cameras in interesting ways. So this is a camera that can see the world not a million or a billion, but one trillion frames per second. And you can see the light propagating through the scope ball. Project not sponsored by <laughs> And with these new types of cameras that we're building, we're really exploring how millions of cameras that are going to be in your pocket are going to transform, or how the experience of having thousands of cameras in a given venue is going to bring information to you. We're looking at creating new types of displays, not just 2D displays, but 3D displays, but also so-called six-dimensional and eight-dimensional displays that change not only with your viewpoint, but also change with ambient light. As so in our group, uh, camera culture, we really think about the future of image. Cameras, medical devices, new types of image search, news, sports, broadcast, 3D printing, trust in imaging, and so on. Now, when it comes to some really big problems. What keeps me awake at night is the next five billion. And I'm talking about the people, not money. <laughs> we have a huge challenge because the next five billion people who need help will not be served by just building bigger and bigger hospitals. The way we leapfrog the communication world by going from landlines to mobile phones, we need to come up with new solutions that provide health in a highly portable, highly scalable form. 